a Halloween dress with quick and easy format for your kid, you are on the right place. Today we are going to make a Halloween dress with quick and easy format. Hi, this is Momo and you are watching Momo Susan Bigner. Today we are going to make a Halloween dress. This is a part of Halloween series. We are going to give you a 2 or 3 Halloween series tutorial. Now let me describe you about the cutting pieces. On the left side this is the front part and then on the right side is the aligning and the netting or tool. We also use zipper over here for bodice, back bodice. This is the tool and the lining. Lining can be a georgette which is preferable or a lining fabric which which will be available or suit for you. This is the lining piece. It is cutting in the rectangular shape. I'm just sewing the side or the selvage part just to make them in a loop. This tool or you can say a tutu dress is come from my old friend and this is a gift and I don't like its structure so I am going I've decided to make it something different and now I am making a skirt a tool skirt or a tutu skirt from a to a Halloween dress you can say a Halloween dress or a, you can say a Halloween tutu dress this up to you I'm seeing the bottom part of the lining which is in a rectangular shape I'm not a specific regarding width and height of it it's totally depend on you if you have a previous year to to dress or you want to make it recycle you can recycle it because Halloween is a just one day of event uh, girls and boys really wanted to be uh, in a very in a energetic and enthusiastic way but as a parent we need to make them in a quite reasonable price so how can we make it you can use a old tutu dress and make a new bodice with it I'm done with the bot uh, bottom hemline this is a quick part of our sewing so be careful uh, or or you can reply it replay it so you don't miss anything what I'm going to do now I'm just going to sew salvage of the tutu skirt the same process what I have done with the lining I am doing the same process with the tutu skirt I'm just sewing the sides or the salvage part of the skirt As I've told you that this is going to be a two or three series of Halloween dresses. This is the competition part. This is not about the Halloween dress. This is about the event creation, event dresses. Um, if you have any event and ideas and you want me to make video on them, this is just let us know regarding it. I'm just clearing this stuff and uh, removing the extra tool or net around the sandwich part which I have just seen it okay I am folding it I'm doing on fold and just making notch over it you need to see it very carefully because here we are going to mark it okay that where we are going to place which position we are going to place lining and netting with each other I 
I'll just start to see you. As you can see, the tutu has a has larger end width. Maybe uh, you can say two times greater than aligning. So we I am giving gathers to it. I'm soon to make a to-do dress for myself where you are going to learn how to make to-do by yourself. This is not a big deal. Uh, this is this is all depends on how good your tool is, how good your net is, how good your netting is. If you get a volume stick or hard net, it become good to do dress if you become if you have got soft and non volumistic netting then it become low volume and low inspiring a yet scattered dress sort of thing not a tutu sort of thing it will become Here is the notch part of my lining. I have made, I was, I always made notches when I sew. You can barely see that because I did work very fast. Most of my users complain that why do you work very fast? Because I'm doing it for so many years. That's why. Uh, but I'm trying to make it super simple for you guys now and from now on I am focusing more on it that my any kind of user not going to take you as a complicated thing okay now we are back to the work uh, we are on the back side of our bodice this is the netting and this is the lining I have taken the charger, a good charger which has a matte look in it. Soon I am going to give you a link to the where you can buy from it. Right now I am just making it buy from my local market. I am just pinning it just to make it sure. That netting is netting or tool is not going to slip out from the bodice because this is the main reason that the pupil avoid netting and lining work together most of the time we see that the uh, netting see you standalone and lining see you see soon standalone this is the pro not a proper method we need to attach them and then see see it By doing this, this netting is not going to move from here to there. If you are not uh, approachable to the pins or you don't have that right now, you can use hand sew. Just take your hand needle and just start sewing. Just make the it. it in a very soft manner and then remove it after seeing it. I'm repainting the process for the second one as well. You guys are going to ask me a one question that the front bodice has already watermelon marks, watermelon face and from where I get that. Soon I'm going to link in the description as soon as possible. I've made it. I've made the video of it. How it does and how it made by me. Uh, the simplest thing is that I have made the. I have take a cotton birds. Cotton cottons and uh, see the wrapper of it. See the wrapper for it if with the with a cotton orange color fabric and then just fill with 
those cotton buds with it and just sew it along with the front bodice. I'm re removing the excess part of the netting. It can be a slightly netting always need a little bit surgering during the sewing process because netting is slightly have a volume or slightly has elasticity in, in its behavior. So this is my watermelon face. I know its eyes is little bit weird but uh, this is for Halloween. This is how it looks, the weird one. Zombies and everything, every, in every way. So I prefer Halloween because kids shouldn't be so much weird dangerous thing because this is not good for them okay what is this this is a third layer third layer of cotton fabric a lightweight cotton fabric the first one is a lining the second one is a netting and the now I'm sewing the last one which is right now going to be before the netting it also need under stitch so I'm going to explain you this as well right now I'm just spinning it so the, the net didn't move from here to there and avoid more surgery but unfortunately or fortunately I have to do this because netting needed a surgery continuous surgery okay what I'm doing the, the first layer is lining a georgette lining a second layer is a net, a netting or a tool and a third layer is a lightweight cotton and I am just sewing a simple hem around the neck Now I am doing the same process along the armhole. I'm making a notches over here because under stitch need it as you have seen in, in my A-line shirts and flat color dress in every dress I have made notches so it is easy to revert back the fabric it very much needed in under stitch stitching make sure you don't use so much big scissor or surgery or shear over here because I am very, very very much expert but uh, accidents can happen can be then you are. again the surgery needed and I have done it now what I am going to do I have removed the pen and I am just reverting it Pulling out the shoulder in a very good way. If you are in need of bodice pattern, uh, you can download it from my dresscraft.com. It's free and it is for the same size. And this is a done the front bodice part. The front bodice is done. Now we are going to make. Uh, let's start with the back one okay let's start with the back one I'm doing the same procedure for the back bodice
just doing the simple straight line it has the same layers the lightweight cotton the netting and the aligning with a georgette material make a notches remove the excess part now see carefully what i am going to do i have just placed the one shoulder between the netting and a cotton lining and going to sew over this is the best part of under stitch which most intermediate persons doesn't doesn't know anyways now i am going to complete my armhole with only only back bodice armhole there is no involvement of front part over here the whole front part is in this in this uh, pillow tap of thing in this cover I tried to explain it in a very 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 easy way if you guys didn't get my point so just comment below I can reply you okay this is the thing that how it looks and how it should looks this is only a single a uh, single attachment of back bodies because there are two back bodies you can if you rem if you remember it now I'm going to repeat the step for second back bodice how I'm going to do that now let me explain you you with a very simple way in a more simplest way of course there is only there is also a simplest way of doing things okay let me bring the cotton for it and make it pin or not Mm, yes, I'm just going to sew a single seam line over shoulder. There is no cotton lining. You can see there's just a simple attachment. Now I'm attaching the lightweight cotton. Now you can, you guys got the idea what I am doing over here. Okay, I'm just sewing a netting with a light eight lightweight cotton there is no involvement of front part and now because front part is already sewn over here i'm just going to do a single sew over them and now removing the bodice part front bodice part and just make a neckline sew with its back bodice and same goes for zipper selvage line I think this is the most difficult part you guys can found in this video but I have made it with sim super simple so you get an idea that how it works and how it does and I'm just removing the excess part making notches and as I have told you that don't do this notches with your big scissor or serger machine yes over here look how how clean and how simple and how similar it looks there is it doesn't affect if you do in a one way or another way if you didn't understand the step one you can do with the step two unless it is so simple as I have explained you over here I didn't found my seam ripper so I'm doing it with my tool equipment of sewing machine this is how it looks now your our front bodice is almost ready 
not ready it's just a uh, basic structure is ready I'm just making a final hemline over from shoulder to shoulder from back neck end to back to another back neck end because it is the part of under stitch otherwise our our seam is looking not good and it need every time it need press whenever we are going to wear it or we are going to wear this for, for our child okay how it looks just make a little bit clear over here remove the pins You can see that I am preparing up for zipper, but uh, we need to do. I think we need a uh, heaven. Let me, let me see over here. Okay, let me see. Yes, yes, it is needed. Otherwise, it is not. It need a press, or else we need a super simple hand line. There we go, the zipper is in a simple zipper. We are going to see over here a single hemline would work. You can see that that the, my zipper has an a uh, dead end on the both sides, the on the on the end and on the start. So I didn't need to make a end point. These are the ready-made zippers which can be available in different sizes. This size is along for 2.5 years to 3 to 4 year girls or babies. I'm just removing the excess part and uh, Finishing up the thing. Now the second part. I'm going to see you. Let, let me show you. Yes, this is the how I'm going to sew it. And you can see there is no opening point of. zipper where zipper opens and comes up out okay let me see what you can see i am sewing it in a different way there is no horizontal line i am placing there is only a vertical line which is going to attach the zipper but i am but i am taking it from the bottom and all the way i am going to join the both bodice spaces together and then i am taking the both on the right side I'm going to and then I've made again at my 90 degree angle direction I'm going to sew right away straight I'm not saying that this is so simple and you are going to make it right away this is a simple remaking of your tutu skirt in a in a too many of formats because this is only one i'm going to give you one or two more just do a final stitch around the neck so it will be a very clean and clear under stitch look we are going to have over it now I'm removing the pins because we are done. We are almost done with our bodice. As this is a sleeveless dress, so.
so there is no sleeve involved in it we are just going to make a final hemline for the armhole and then we are going to do a side seams this is what I am going to do you can see I am attaching the let me explain it again I am attaching the lining to lining and take away part lining and netting is already attached and now I am attaching the netting lining both netting and both lining together and after that I am going to attach first of all you need to see that then we are going to I am going to tell you that what is what I am going to do with lightweight cotton You are going to stunt with it because this is very beautiful thing what I have craft and uh, you are going to love it okay all the way along I am making it sewing it and lightweight cotton yes in this format you can see that now I'm going to revert it and how it looks same procedure goes for it I'm going to attach lining to lining and netting to netting a lining a netting a netting a lining and then sew it take away part of a lightweight cotton and see it standalone how it going to look uh, I know it's uh, very not much handy as you can see my whole fabric is ruining its ironing very well but you can see that we need it for not having under not having any hemline under the skirt under the bodice why i have done this the all there is a three layer of fabric i have used why i have used it you got a question why i need it because netting every time irritates the kid whether they are wearing for a single day or a multiple days or occasionally or casually so netting whether one whenever you use netting or tool you need to do under a stage with same processing so there is no seam line or hem line going to irritate your kit you can see there is no hem line this is the final look of our bodice now I'm just making a single hemline for final of our understitch because we have done it in front of neck on the zippers end and now it needed here as well If you are not getting this the understitch part let me know I'm going to make a tutorial in a standalone way for in a dummy series so you guys can know it very well understitch has so many flavors in it itself so we can have multiple series of tutorials for it as well anyways back to our work I'm just about to complete this If you are looking for a free pattern, you can visit dresscraft.com. Now, this is the final part of our bodice, I can say that. We already done with our skirt part 
which has lining in it we also give gathers we just need to join them together but it also has some trick in it uh, if you need to learn stay tuned with us I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do so what I'm doing is over here is I am make a notch I have do a on fold over skirt and do a notch so I got a four corners right now do which has uh, side seams and two which I have created notches over them why I have needed I have needed because I need to make sure that the gathers will come along in a very smooth way the first notch you okay let me explain you now easy manner I'm going to make a stitch over here this is a side seam you can see that the tutu skirt not the lining part the tutu skirt has a side seam over there so I have seam it from on the side of the bodice now I'm going to pin the notch part in the middle of our watermelon face bottom now again the same part and this is the side it also has a notch over it correct for you guys so you can see it very clearly okay my notch is here and I'm attaching over it this is the zipper end of the back bodice this is how it looks you can see equal gathers everyone has because our bodice has a lesser volume you can say that if our skirt has a 10 width our body has a 5 width so we need to attach them accordingly and now I'm going to give a gathers again to our tutu skirt to match our pinning parts if you are afraid of giving gathers like that I am going to give you a very very easy way which you going to love it and uh, it is I'm I am calling it manual gathers manual smoking it doesn't need any elastics any bobbin elastic and any elastic form of elastic and doesn't need any right away gathers from the sewing that I am sewing it because some some sewist afraid of both that maybe would not come up with the come over on their fingers and there are some accident cases in the past that uh, pedal doesn't work properly and uh, boot is overcome and machine is just out of con become out of control and it is become very much accidental or you can say dangerous so I need to make a safe and simple sewing for you guys so stay tuned for that I'm going to link that manual gathers here soon so keep visiting this if you are not subscribed to our channel if you are subscribed to our channel just you got it in your inbox as soon as I upload it do give your suggestion if you are professional sewing master or sewist or you just need to make a partnership or you just need to 
um, make exchange of work let us know we are very eager to melt us in this industry we are about to complete this dress you are say, seeing that that I am giving gathers a little bit gathers so there is no extra volume for any other part for part I love this tutu dress and the orange Halloween maybe I'm going to make it for myself as well and buy some tool for it a good tool for it which has a harder and larger volume in it so we are it is the look of our Halloween dress with tutu how you would like it do tell us and let us know that uh, you love it please comment below like us and subscribe us keep watching us and tell us your point of view with how you love it how you don't love it and how our watermelon face looks like you or not I love it because uh, it made by me and I love my things very much do subscribe us like us follow us thank you